Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Citron emulator. It's a Switch emulator onto your Steam Deck, Steam OS, uh, with, you know, working on gaming mode, desktop mode, all of that, okay? So Citron is like a fork of Yuzu. I normally use Yuzu or Ryujinx as my Switch emulators, uh, but these two emulators have been taken down by Nintendo. They're actually owned by Nintendo now. So it's good to have a third uh, emulator that gets updated because some newer games, they might not work you know, out of the gate, uh, might need some updates or patches. Um, and those two emulators, Yuzu and Rejigs, don't get updated anymore. So yeah, it's great to have another one ready. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so you don't need to go to the website to download Citron emulator. It's because if you go to the website, it takes you to the GitHub page. Um, the latest release is 0 0.3 right now. And you know, if you download the Linux build, it's not an app image build. Okay, so I've already got it downloaded, and if you extract it, there's just these four files, you can't execute them. It uh, doesn't work, so before we go any further, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check out their website using my link below. They sell games at discounted prices, okay? So up to 60% discount for a lot of these games, and that's because they buy their game keys directly from the game developers, so it cuts out any middleman. That translates to big discounts for you. Uh, right now, you can see on the front page, Final Fantasy VII, Rebirth, that's coming out in three days. Okay, it's already at a 43% discount. Okay, you can pre-order it right now. It's the Steam version, so you'll get a code. Um, here, you can see how to activate your game. Once you purchase it, you get the code, and then you input it back into your Steam library. So it'd be exactly the same as you would be uh, if you purchased the game from Steam, uh, but you save yourself a big discount. I do get a kickback for every purchase you make using my link, um, and that's at no additional cost to you. So that, let's get back to our video. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go and join the Discord server for Citron. And on the left-hand side, there's a channel called Citron Builds. And there they've got a link to download the app image of uh, Citron. All right, so once you've got the Citron app image, I've got it right here. Uh, make sure you've got EmuDeck installed because uh, I'm going to install this onto EmuDeck. Uh, use EmuDeck with this emulator because I want Steam ROM Manager to manage my Steam shortcuts, so I can actually run the game directly on the you know on the Steam library. That's that's the, my goal. Okay. So once you've got the app image, run it, execute, double click, execute, and then you should be greeted with this. Uh, you're missing the encryption keys, firmware, all of that. That's fine. Uh, you also might get another message saying uh, whether you want to share data with the emulator. Don't don't share any data. Yeah, you know, it's not recommended. Okay, and then once you're in here, click File, Open Citron Folder, and it should open up your Dolphin and bring up this Citron folder, which is Home Local. It's a hidden folder. Share Citron. Okay, and inside here there's a keys directory. Okay, so make sure you've got your keys and your firmware. All right, ready. You have to dump them yourself from your modern Nintendo Switch. Okay, don't download any of these files from the internet and use them because that's illegal. Okay, we're playing like emul emulation is legal if you do it right. Okay, so you're not supposed to use you know your your games are supposed to be dumped yourself. Okay, make sure you do that. Okay, so I've got my keys right here. It's 18.1.0. This is not the latest one, but uh, it works for me. If you have uh, updated ones, use updated ones. Uh, it, it, the keys and the firmware needs to be updated together. So if you have the keys for 18.1, uh, don't use the firmware 19. That doesn't work. So 18.1.0, these are the keys. Put them there. Uh, for the firmware, uh, there's two ways to install this. I'm just going to show you my way, which is just go to the NAND directory, then system, contents, registered, and I've got my firmware right here the zip file just go drag the files over okay extract these files when we're over there okay is that finished yep finished done done and then we can close the emulator and reboot the emulator execute okay so now you can see here 18.1.0 the firmware and we've got the key so everything should be fine you want to add your game folder okay so because i'm using emudeck emudeck folder is normally if you go to home okay normally you should if you installed emudeck onto your ssd you should have it 
an emulation folder inside your home, your root directory home. Okay, emulation. If you installed it onto your SD card, then this emulation folder is in your SD card location. Okay, and then inside there's a ROMs directory, and then there's a like there's a lot of folders, uh, and then there's a switch directory. It is where I'll put my my game. So I've got one game right now, Moonlighter. Okay, so I'm just going to double click. Then I'm going to search for that folder. So home deck, emulation, ROMs, and then switch. Switch. Okay, so go up. So you should you should select the folder and select it. So select and then choose. Okay, and then you can see it automatically detect Moonlighter. All right, so yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna go into how how to use this emulator. Like you can do customize uh, configurations. Uh, you can you know mod games, uh, mod your save data location. Um, you know, add, or, or, or copy over and save data. Yeah, these uh, I'm not gonna go into details with this. Okay, uh, the settings, all that. You could you can just go to here configure. I've got videos showing you how to do that. You can search my channel. Uh, maybe controls is important make sure controls you go to the controls uh, I, I normally use pro controller and then input device select steam virtual gamepad okay and on desktop mode you probably won't be able to like act like you, if you move it right now nothing's happening it's because you have to press and hold the steam button uh, not steam but press and hold the start button and you can see here Gamepad, this means I'm in gamepad mode. And now if I move the controls, it, it, it's actually moving. If I press and hold the start button again, I go back into gamepad mode. Okay, so, uh, sorry, not gamepad mode, desktop mode. So um, in gaming mode, it's you're in gamepad mode. So yeah, so make sure like the controls are working. Okay. And then um, now like it, it, it's actually working. You can run this on, on desktop mode and run it already. Uh, but if you want it on gaming mode, so what I normally do is, okay, I'm going to exit. I'm going to exit. Um, and then um, for MU deck, your, your emulators, uh, okay, you've got a folder in your home directory application. So here are all the app images for your emulators. So I'm, I'm just going to like, put it back right here, which makes more sense for me. I'm just going to paste it here, my Citron app image in my home applications folder okay um, and then you're going to run steam rom manager which is built into emu deck okay and then uh, you might not get this view uh, let me show you settings so theme so this might be what your steam rom manager looks like by default okay, let me just minimize the background so it looks something like this uh, what you should do, go to settings, go to settings, and then uh, here, select theme, go to classic, okay, because this is more, like, customizable. All right, now, let's let's add, we need to create our parser, because, it, like, Steam ROM Manager, MU Deck doesn't support Citron, so it doesn't have the, the parser for Citron, so we've got to add it ourselves. So click here, create parser, and then here, community presets, okay, click on it, and... You should have a list. If you don't have a list, it, it's loading. So let it, like make sure you're connected to the internet, and then let it load. Uh, so if you like, if you click on it and there's no no drop down, it means it's loading. Okay, and just wait for it. And then I'm just going to use the Nintendo Switch Yuzu one because it, it's a fork of Yuzu. So here, Nintendo Switch Yuzu, not the flat pack, just the Yuzu one. Okay, and these are already. Like it's already got these settings, and I'm going to change it because the parser title, like Nintendo Switch Yuzu, since we're not using the Yuzu emulator, I'm going to call it. Sorry, get my keyboard. So I'm going to call it Citron. Nintendo Switch Citron, and then it's going to be using the global global accounts. Okay, path to ROM. So we're going to select our ROM path. So same thing. In my home emulation directory, ROMs, and then switch. That's my ROM path. Okay, and then Steam Collections. Okay, so it's got nothing here. I want to remove this. So just remove this, and I'm going to add one. I'm going to add it. Like, this is the collections on your Steam library. Okay, uh, let me show you. So here, so, like, this is the, the, the title. So see how I've got Sony PlayStation 4? All right, so this is what it's going to like type on the title. 
So write something that is something you want. So maybe um, switch Citron. Yeah, so you know what's going on. Um, you know, it's switch emulation using the Citron emulator. You might have like switch user, you might have different emulators. So, you know, put it into the right collection. Uh, this is fine. And then the executable. So we're gonna browse for our app image. So it's in my home. I'll move it to the applications and then Citron app image. And yeah, I think everything else is fine. Everything else, we can just leave it as this. And then save, make sure you save. And then it's at right at the bottom. Right at the bottom here. Okay, so and make sure you toggle it on. And then I'm going to click here, add games, pass. And you can see I've got Moonlighter. Okay, so let's save to Steam. It's going to kill your Steam because uh, it needs to shut down Steam before I can add the, the shortcuts. Make sure here this icon is closed. Yep. Then it should, should do it. Yeah, attempting to restart doing batch. You can close it when you see this done adding removing entries. That means it's done. That means it's done. And then okay, we can actually quit this. And let's open up Steam again. Is it open? Oh, it's already opened. Okay, you can see here we've got a new collection, switch citron. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So in gaming mode, it's gonna be the same. I'm not gonna run the games because um Nintendo doesn't like people showing off their games uh, through emulation, so I'm not going to show it off. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you run it. Um, and then in gaming mode, it, 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 you just load it up and it works perfectly fine. Um, yeah. So hope this was useful. If you liked it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out. And see you guys in the next one. Later.